This is Super One, the British Cutting Championships, round nine. The last Super One karting race of 2016, and it's senior OK. Oliver Hodgson and Jamie Flynn on the front row from Stilpen Gamble. Tillett, Faulkner, Knott, Martin, Bobby Game, and Jack Dex, with Dean McDonald on the sixth row with Al Patterson, Green, Scholl, Johnson, and Lawrence. And away we go. A great start through the first chicane as everybody jostles through. Whoa, that was a bit of a short cut and a half further back. Now that was a really nasty moment. That could have ended in a particularly big shunt, but everybody seems to have got through reasonably OK. I wonder what the officials will make of that. Uh, there was no damage done. It was Tom Gamble, I think, that came across the Ooh. grass and rejoined. Bit of wheel banging there from Flynn and Tillett, and Tillett's gone around. Now, I think that was Archie Tillett actually losing it on his own, under braking. Yeah, he's outbraked himself there and spun round all his own work, I'm afraid. There was a little bit of contact, I think, with, uh, was it Jamie Flynn beforehand? Yeah, yes, he but, was. Uh, he came into the braking zone, applied too much left pedal. Well, the incident was over by that point, so uh, it didn't really affect anything. Oliver Hodgson leading, and Bobby Game, through Bobby Game, ahead of Tom Gamble now. Yeah, always nice to go through a corner on a circuit that's named after you personally. How many drivers in the world can do that? Well, not many while they're still racing, but Bobby Game in his mid-40s these days. Still racing and still enjoying it, and that is what counts. Yeah, he's the 21st century Terry Fullerton, isn't he? As up the inside goes Gamble back to get into third position, and uh, Game has to kind of let him go there. It's still running in second place behind Hodgson, then Gamble, then Game, as down the back straight they go once again. Is this about to be a challenge for fourth position from McDonald, who's fought his way up into fifth position? No, up the inside, further back. Three places gained there. That was Ryan Green, Sam Faulkner, and Roy Johnson all moving up a place. The race leader here, I can tell you, that's Bobby Games' detail. Started P9, running fifth, oldest driver in the field, mid-40s winner, Sam. I'm not going to name his exact age, because I always lose track. He was 42 a few years ago. He's no, you're, 44 you're wrong, now. Alan, you're wrong. He's 18 again. Didn't you yeah. get the memo? <laughs> I didn't get that memo. OK, but, fair uh, enough. Anyway. Back to the front, Dean McDonald has now got himself right onto the tail of third position. McDonald is absolutely flying. Two leaders have got well away from the field. McDonald now into fourth position. Is he going to go for third? Of course he is, but he hasn't got the room. So he's going to have to get another opportunity to get past the 23 of Tom Gamble. And there is the leading pair out in front. Hodgson and Stilt, a country mile ahead of the rest of the field. Dean McDonald, one of the class acts in Super 1. British Cadet Champion 2012. Minimax Champion 2014. Goodness knows where this young Scott is heading in the world of motorsport. He could be following in the wheel tracks of the Coulthards and Frank Kitties of this world as one of Scotland's finest. The race leader here, to tell you all of the Hodgson, he's had a comfortable day so far, won quite comfortably on his home circuit. He's sponsored, of course, by Paul Fletcher at PF International. And uh, I did speak to him earlier, and he did say he was able to look after his tyres, so he's got a decent set of tyres on for this final. And it, uh, it's showing here, isn't it? He's uh, comfortably clear of the man in second place, the 42 car of Jacob Stilp, who in turn is comfortably clear of the chasing pack. Yeah, it was all that jostling, wasn't it? The uh, Tillett and Flynn incident with uh, Tillett spinning off on his own at this next corner on the first lap that really broke up the leading pack and the first two got away well and clear. And now in third position, is that McDonald? Yes, it is. So McDonald is through into third position now as we watch the battle a little bit further down the order. That is Jack Dex trying to keep uh, Sam Faulkner at bay. Sam Faulkner on the 39 car, the Viral Art driver, the 2014 and 2015 Easy Kart Junior Champion, but this is a whole new level for Sam. Yeah, this is where he's really getting to uh, grit his teeth, roll his sleeves up and gung-ho, isn't he? An absolutely cracking young driver. Here's the battle for fifth position. DR Kart UK versus Dan Holland Racing, Ryan Green versus Roy Johnson, and that's for fifth position. Roy Johnson, of course, don't forget, was a cadet champion eight years ago, and he's still able to produce that same quality and talent that he exhibited back in 2008, right here in Senior OK. Great little battle this between these two as they try and get away from the rest of the chasing pack, led by Jack Dex, I believe. There he is, just out of the top of the picture, and right behind him, that looks to me like the 39 in there as well. Bobby Game has actually fallen down to the tail end of the field here. He's tucked up behind Luke Knott. So something has happened to Bobby Game, fighting in the midst of the top six. We didn't see what happened to him, but he's now fallen down to the back of the pack. It just shows you how competitive OK Senior is at the moment. The new OK engines that uh, 
are being used this year in Super 1 for the first time will be the official British Short Circuit Championship classes next year at Super 1 in both junior and senior and we are expecting pretty much full grids and that will mean there are only so many places, I think 34 places potentially up for grabs. So anybody interested in these classes needs to register their interest fairly early. We've got uh, Cartmania coming up in November, of course, so anybody interested in karting, go along to Cartmania and find out all you want to about the sport. And, of course, appropriately enough, Cartmania held at the home of British Motor Racing, Silverstone. So that's going to be a really nice place to uh, exhibit the... Uh, future of British karting but of course these engines built by Vortex one of the established guards in engine building in British karting and they are absolutely fantastic these machines and Oliver Hodgson absolutely on rails at the front of this field on home turf driving beautifully leading comfortably ahead of Jacob Stilp who is doing a good job to be fair to keep up with him let's not forget about Jacob Stilp he's having a quiet run in second place but that's not just anybody he's hanging on to that's Oliver Hodgson a Paul Fletcher back racing driver in Paul Fletcher's backyard indeed that's uh, and he's not really lost much time against him the gap in fact looks like it's come down slightly from the early running so he's certainly not given up on winning this race Jacob Stilp He's still close enough, if good enough. Well, third position is McDonald in front of Gamble. Up to fifth has come Roy Johnson. He's got past the 28 cart there. Ryan Green still hanging on to the top six for the moment. But uh, he needs to keep an eye on what's going on behind him because we've got five or six carts all scrapping away to try and get into that top six. Hodgson, there's Jacob Stilp running very well in second place, as we've already mentioned. And if anything does happen to Hodgson, you can bet he's going to be right in there ready to take the victory away. But that is a big advantage, isn't it, in this class? Hodgson out in front of Stilp. Look back, there's McDonald, there's Gamble. I haven't seen a karting field this spread out for a long time. Yeah, indeed. As I said before, this gap here with uh, Jacob Stilp on the 42, it's not really been extended, has it, by Oliver Hodgson? But no. Hodgson is an old campaigner these days. He's got it all under control. And even if Stilp gets close to him, you have to think that Hodgson just looks like he's still got something in his pocket if he needs it. So there's definitely a lot of quality in the Stilp family household, isn't there, in the world of karting? Because there's not just Jacob out there, there's also young Max doing a fantastic job in the world of British karting as well. And this is going to be a, a nice one to celebrate if uh, Jacob can get it to second. But I have a feeling you're right, he is gaining ground on Hodgson. And I have a feeling as well that Oliver Hodgson, if he's not careful, if he's not pushing in every single lap he possibly can, Jacob Stilp might just overhaul him. There's time to do it, there's laps enough to do it, and all it takes is Oliver Hodgson to get into a place of contentment, and that's when Jacob Stilp can start knocking on the door. There's the young Scott Dean McDonald, winning championships like crazy these days, and a fighting force not just in the UK, but also in Europe, Dean McDonald. This guy's got an incredible future. We always talk about uh, talented racing drivers who could go all the way to Formula One. As far as Scotland is concerned in the world of karting, I would say this boy is currently the best bet. Well, they've got a few, haven't they? They've got a few That's from true, Scotland actually. who are more than capable of doing it. And they oh. seem to have the, uh, the backing as well as 39 Sam Faulkner go through to make the move on that Viral Art chassis. Yes, he's managed to follow Luke Knott in the procedure of getting a place and they both managed to get past Jack Dex in the progress of doing that. So uh, good battles all the way through. There's Flynn, and then there is the 44 of Knott with Faulkner all over the back of him. Been watching the uh, easy cart progress of this kid for the last three seasons very well indeed, and it's great to see him up in Super 1, charging very hard indeed. And, uh, well, he's definitely got his work cut out, but I have to say to Sam Faulkner, fair play, he's showing himself to be an equal of everybody. Into the last lap we go, and Oliver Hodgson leading, and look, McDonald has been working the craft to Jacob Stilp. He sets the fastest lap in the process, and Stilp is having to defend. He's now on the back foot. Dean McDonald is going to go for this second position here, and if this is the Dean McDonald I know him to be on his A game, he's going to get the best possible opportunity to overtake. He really has only one last chance for me, though. Out of Bobby game into, Wilkin, into the Wilson complex, sorry. Here he comes. Through Bobby Game, can he knit it in the inside? No, Stilp has covered him, very nicely done. So Hodgson is going to get the win. Stilp will be second to McDonald third. Oliver Hodgson, well, 
that was domination, wasn't it? In the finest sense of the word. Still bis second ahead of McDonald. Fourth is Gamble. Fifth is Green. And look in sixth position, the newly crowned Euromax champion has brought it to the top six, Nicholas Scholl. A great result for him then to finish off his British campaign in the top six. Ahead of Luke Knott and Sam Faulkner. A good debut for him. Jack Dex. And rounding out the top ten, Bobby Game. A fantastic end of the season for OK. Oliver, that last race... There was, must have been a million things going through your mind with Dean coming up through. You just had to keep it all nice and calm at the front. How did you do it? Well, uh, the plan was to get away quickly at the start and uh, but make big inroads at the start and then relax at the end. And I can tell you at the end, I wound that jet out a lot. You always think, oh, I'm not going to be the person that blows it up while I'm leading. So that definitely ran through my mind. I mean, over 12 minutes, you've got to control the cart quite a bit, haven't you? Adjustments and things like that. You know, how difficult was it to maintain that lead whilst not leaning the cart off too much? Uh, it's actually probably the easier job when you're the lead man because you can control it. It's when you're actually in the pack overtaking and passing, you don't have the option to. When you're leading, it's an easy job, really, because you can, you can take your time with the tyre. Congratulations to all of our champions in 2016. Thoughts already turning to 2017. For more information, check out the website. From me, Alan Taddy, I and my colleague, Jake Sanson. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next year.